Welcome to the testing world. In this session, we will see a basic test case formatting, how we can freeze header or test case ID. So I'm moving to my Excel sheet and that's my header row. If we scroll down so you can see header row is hide now. In the same way, if we are moving to the right hand side, my test case ID column is hidden. So I want it should display my header row always doesn't matter I am scrolling or not. In the same way I want test case ID column should always be visible if you are moving to the right hand side. So means I want to freeze my header row in the same way I can freeze my column. So how we can do that in Excel. So to freeze it we can go to the view and here we have option of freeze paints. So if we freeze top row, so as we freeze top row means first row is freeze, first row is fixed now, we can scroll down and here you will notice my header row is always displaying. We can you know scroll down to any level and you will find out we are getting that header row always. In the same way if you want to freeze your first column so we can go to freeze and freeze first column so in that case first column is also freeze and if you are moving right hand side you will notice that we are always getting that first column which is test case ID that is one of the most important feature which we are going to use while designing the test case because whenever we are moving to the any actual result status so test case ID is displaying on the left hand side and we can easily identify which test case is status passed or failed so by this option either we can freeze row or column but I want to freeze column as well as row so first of all I am going here and I unfreeze everything now I want to freeze first column and first row so go to this cell Above to this cell is first row and left of this cell is first column. So select that cell, go here and freeze pin. So now it will freeze left hand side column and upper row. So my both row as well as here we can see I'm moving down and row is freeze. And if I'm moving to the right, that column is freeze. So we can freeze both row and column by one click. So here we have seen three options either we can go for freeze top row top column or we can freeze row and column both so if you want to unfreeze just click on the unfreeze pane and everything is gone I'm taking one more example I want to freeze my header also I want to freeze two columns test case ID and description so I'll go to this cell Above of this cell is my header, that's fine. Left to this cell we have two columns. So I want to freeze these two columns and my header. So I selected this cell and going to freeze panes, freeze pane. So now if I'm moving to the right, you can see we are getting two columns which are fixed. In the same way, if we are moving down, we will see one header row is fixed. That is the first Excel feature which we are going to use while formatting our test cases. So we have three options, freeze row, freeze column, row and column both. That's all we have for this session. Thanks for watching this video.